welcome amigos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fruit salad cake. For this recipe you'll need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one cup of sugar, three large eggs, half a cup of milk, half a cup of oil, half a cup of condensed milk, one and a half tablespoons of Mexican vanilla blend, half a teaspoon of salt, two cups of heavy whipping cream and half a cup of sugar. And if you don't have these two items, not to worry, guess what? I'm gonna make it easy for you today. You can use some Cool Whip. You'll need one small can of fruit cocktail and two cups of your small marshmallows. And I know this looks like a big can. That's all I have, so make it comfortable for your home. Four tablespoons of butter and about 10 to 12 strawberries to decorate our cake. Optional, but not necessary, and I highly recommend it. We're gonna use one tablespoon of butter extract. We're gonna start by sifting two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Add one tablespoon of baking powder and start sifting. Add your salt, and let's go ahead and set this to the side. To your bowl, you wanna add your eggs. What kind of sugar are you using? I am using Sulca cane sugar. You can find it in a big pack at your Mexican markets, your local grocery stores, and I absolutely love it. Go ahead and add your one cup of sugar to your eggs. I'm gonna be using a handheld mixer, and I'm gonna be using our beater attachment. So if you guys are using this on your stand mixer, go ahead and use your paddle, and that should take you about a minute. If you're doing this by hand, you can be there anywhere from four to six minutes. Add your milk, your half cup of condensed milk, and your vanilla. Give that a good mix until all your ingredients are well combined. Add about one third of your dry ingredients and start mixing. Add about one third of your oil and one third of your milk mixture and combine. And we're gonna repeat the same steps two more times. And boom, done. To your baking dish, you're gonna add a little bit of oil. You can use a nonstick spray or a little bit of the butter coating at the bottom. But today I'm just gonna use a little bit of oil. And now we're gonna pour our batter into our baking dish. I love that ribbon effect. Makes me so happy. And I don't want to see anybody licking the raw batter. Wait for the whipped cream. That's the best part. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and now you just want to level out your batter. Once you've leveled your cake, you want to pick it up and pop it a few times. That allows all the little bubbles to come to the top. We're going to go ahead and place our cake in the oven at 350 degrees and it's going to be 25 to 30 minutes. Take your can of fruit cocktail and strain the juice. If you're a person that prefers to bite into a big juicy grape, go ahead and keep them whole, but for me, I don't, not in this particular situation, so I'm just gonna slice them down the middle, make them into smaller little bits, but we are gonna keep it in our fruit salad. You guys are gonna eat your grapes. Bossy mommy said, eat your grapes. <laughs> to your cocktail syrup, you're gonna add one fourth of a cup of melted butter. And whisk, whisk, whisk your day away, amigos. Whisk it up and shake it. <laughs> I'm in heaven right now, it smells so good. I'm trying to impress Cloud and my baby, so. Oh, we're always impressed. I'm Abuse Club, you guys have been asking me for sweets and here I am being super sweet. Oh yeah. <laughs> there was only one time I wasn't impressed with your cooking and that's when 
That's a long time ago. It was a worst Alfredo sauce, okay? Stop. <laughs> the OGs that have been here know. They know they about know. the Alfredo sauce. <laughs> Ignore cloud and go ahead and add, before I forget it, your butter extract. And as I mentioned, it's not necessary, but mm, it feels so good. It makes a difference. <laughs> it does make a difference. Add two cups of heavy whipping cream and half a cup of sugar. No se pique. Do you guys know what that means? No se pique? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do, unfortunately. Okay, tell sugar. our friends what no se pique means. Um, it means not to get carried away. Don't get carried away. Don't overindulge, okay? There's sweetness here, there's sweetness there. Take it easy. It smells so good in here, man. <laughs> Y'all, it smells great in here. And we're gonna start mixing. If you're doing this by hand, you're gonna be there about 15 to 20 minutes and you better not stop. You better beat it, beat it, because nobody wants to be defeated when you're whipping heavy whipping cream. So if you're gonna do a stand mixer, watch the um, Tres Leches cake video. I'll put it in the link below. But for me, I'm gonna start slowly and then speed it up. Yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> And boom, done. Friends, you're gonna see that my whipped cream is a little bit stiffer than you would see anywhere else, but there's a reason for this. When we add that fruit cocktail, it's still wet. So we want it to be able to hold and still give us the creaminess that we all absolutely love. Add your fruit cocktail to your whipped cream. And fold it in. That's giving me the goosies. <laughs> And make it rain marshmallows, amigos. These are absolutely delicious. Cal's favorite. You impressed today? I love marshmallows. And just mix all your ingredients. In the smallest bowl you can find. In the smallest bowl. I promise you guys I ordered a bigger bowl. You could have gone smaller too. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. And once you're done mixing your ingredients, go ahead and place this in the refrigerator. Friends, this cake here was baked in an oven that was not preheated. And what I mean by that is that as soon as it hit 350 degrees, I baked it. So I'm gonna show you right now what happens with your cake when you preheat your oven before baking. And this cake here has been baked in an oven that has been preheated for a minimum of 30 minutes. So if you want the nice fluffy cake that's just barely almost gonna peek out of your baking dish, go ahead and preheat your oven, wait 30 minutes, and then place your cake in the oven. I do find that it works best when it's hot to detach the cake from the sides. And you will notice that when you preheat your oven properly, you do have a little bit more of a toasty color at the top. Just absolutely beautiful. I've taken my cake out of the oven. I've allowed it to cool and it's been about an hour and 45 minutes. And start poking holes in the cake. Kind of like you would your Tres Leches cake. And the reason I'm doing this is because if you're gonna serve the same day, this is gonna give it a great flavor. But for those of you that are gonna keep this in the refrigerator and take a slice one day, wait a few days, um, this is gonna keep your cake nice and moist in the refrigerator. If you don't wanna do the butter syrup, you're okay. This cake is moist enough and it's just going to be absolutely perfect with the cream. So it's going to be up to you. I like giving you choices so that you can always make it comfortable for your home. And this time I'm going to say no, use the syrup. <laughs> she wants the <a> syrup, everybody. <laughs> and now you're going to pour your buttery syrup. And I'm going to start at the edges because you know those are the crispier parts and I want them soft. Nice and soft. Once you've done that, you're gonna place this in your refrigerator for 30 to 45 minutes. We want everything to be super cool and since my ingredients here were room temperature, um, because I didn't want the butter to get cold with the syrup, we're gonna place this in the refrigerator, so make some space. Once your cake has cooled, it's time to add your fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Since this cake is sticky, you wanna place your uh, fruit salad into little segments because you don't want to lift it back up from the cake. And now it's time to spread. Once you spread your fruit salad over your cake, you can start decorating it with some strawberries or your favorite fruit. And if you don't have fruit, you can use a little bit of sprinkles, which I will be doing that for my son because he loves the Mexican sprinkles. So we have those there. 
And while you're slicing strawberries, you might want to slice a few extra because my kids, they came through right now and they ate all the pretty ones that I had uh, placed for you guys, so they beat you to it today. Yeah, those are my godchildren. <laughs> <laughs> they see sliced strawberries and they go for it. And all I did was, you have a machine to cut your strawberries or you can do it with your knife to just cut them into little slivers so that when everybody's eating them, it's a lot easier. And that's a story about the strawberry thieves. <laughs> And it happens. I'm warning you guys. And boom, done, friends. We're ready for a taste. Remember, when you're slicing, take it all the way through. Clean your knife. And boom, done. Who's ready for a bite? I'm going to need somebody very special to say, ah. Uh... Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to add bibbis little sprinkles in here. Just makes the kids so happy. Buen provecho. No, okay, here you go. Let me get you a napkin, babe. Whoa. I dig the wet sponge. You dig the wet sponge, okay? It has like a taste of it that has leches, but you put like, instead of like, the same strawberries you put it with different greens and I like that about this. Do you like that? Do you like it more soaked or is this a perfect soak? This is a perfect soak I would say. Wow, it sounds like you've been watching a lot of baking. <laughs> oh, and you did good with the... Are these oranges? Are these oranges? Peaches, peaches. Yeah, peaches and, and sprinkles you give it a good top. Do you, know, do you want to know what all that fruit is? Is fruit cocktail from a cocktail? can. From a can? Yep. <laughs> Do you guys recommend the sprinkles or no sprinkles? I recommend both, but without. It would taste good without sprinkles or with sprinkles. Okay. I recommend sprinkles. Yeah, he does. He loves sprinkles. So if you're going to use sprinkles, don't sprinkle them on until you're ready to serve. Yep. They're going to bleed on your on your whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, done so. eating? Okay. No, I was, you, I, we were talking about my cake. So oh, I okay. okay. You're so really into this definitely. conversation. <laughs> I'm so polite. I like... Uh, what do you, what's this, um, uh, what kind of whipped cream do you use? I used heavy whipping cream and sugar and then I mixed it until it was nice and oh, fluffy. Yeah, yummy. Do you guys like the fluff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So would you guys go with Cool Whip or with, uh, any kind of whipped Anything cream? will, okay, That's anything good. will work. All right, guys. Sponge? So Marissa, you said this one. He likes the, you like this the one? fresh whipped cream. Okay, mm -hmm. so are you guys going to be able to make this for, um, for the holidays? Mm -hmm. I might, I don't know how. You can make it? I'm gonna challenge you. I think so. I know what. I don't know. Should we challenge Rebecca to bake the cake? <laughs> <laughs> He's good in the kitchen. All right. You're gonna have to make one cake for us. Mm-hmm. As always, Cloud, the boys, and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> wow, by you, you have to look at your mom for the hand cue. Oh. <laughs> You're not being a good Views Club Junior today. <laughs> I'm not the cake right now. Don't touch me. Ya está cerrada. Con tres candados. Y remachaba la puerta negra. Finish it in the comments, friends. You don't have the voice, I do. You have the okay. looks.